I sometimes wish I never had brown at all And carry on, carry on As if nothing really matters Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be doing a bit of a different type of video. I've decided to do a spontaneous, spontaneous makeup on my face and answer questions that you guys have asked me on social media. So this should be kind of fun. It might be a long video, but um, I'm going to pick some products I think are going to be cool. Some colors and some fun things, and I have really no idea what I'm going to do. So this could possibly be a train wreck, but hopefully you guys enjoy it. So let's get started. Oh, we've got to cover the brows. I forgot about brow coverage. Oh, not that drawer. We should never get that drawer. Alright, so the first question comes from Zane Panda. And they asked me, what would your dream project to work on be? Um, I would have to say my dream project would be Hocus Pocus 2. Hello, I mean that would be an amazing experience. Um, pretty obvious for me because I do really love the movie. And another project that I really, really, really wish I could have worked on were the Smashing Pumpkins videos. Any video would be fine. Um, especially like Tonight Tonight. Any kind of like music video from the pumpkins I would have just been so freaking stoked to work on. And the next question comes from Gabrielle. And she asks, what is your favorite music? So, the pumpkins are my favorite band but I like kind of a lot of different types of music. I'm primarily into rock and classic rock, like David Bowie, Queen, things like that, Weezer, Deftones, Muse, um, the Black Keys. So yes, but the pumpkins are my absolute favorite. Sarah Thornley asks, what is the weirdest thing that has happened to you since moving to LA? Um, LA in general is just a very different type of place. Just walking down the street is kind of an experience in and of itself. Uh, just I remember going furniture shopping and talking to a guy and then the conversation led to like rape. It was just, it's a very strange place. Um, but kind of normal in a way now since I've been here for a year. Savannah Valds asks, what is your favorite special effects makeup look that you or someone else has done? Uh, my favorite look that I've ever done would be an impossible thing for me to answer. I really liked my sea monkey. I mean, that was my first special effects project. I really liked um, the Swamp Witch that I did with my friend Amanda from this past IMAT. I've always liked my Vincent Van Gogh that I've done on here on YouTube. That's probably my fav one of my favorite YouTube tutorials. And it's funny because I was going to give up on that tutorial halfway through. I was like, I'm not happy with this. It's not coming out the way I wanted it to. and. I put so much work into it, I just powered through, and I'm really glad that I did, because it's my favorite now. As for a favorite from somebody else, there's so many artists out there that are just incredible, but something that probably stuck with me early on was the makeup from Amadeus, which was a Dick Smith makeup. Um, just beautiful, brilliant age makeup. And, you know, age makeup is honestly a lot harder to do than like coming up with a huge creature like a predator or something. Age makeup, we all have a reference for that makeup. We all know what old people look like. So replicating nature is the most impossible thing in the world. So when somebody does it really, really well, they're a true artist. That's my opinion. I don't know if you know or not. That's my opinion and that's okay. Next question is from Katherine Pettibone and she says, did you go to college before makeup school? And if so, what was your degree and do you get use out of it? Yes, I did go to college, Catherine, and I went to school for graphic design and animation. I actually went to a few different colleges, let's just be honest. Um, I wanted to be an art teacher initially when I got out of high school, and that didn't really pan out, so I ended up going to nursing school, which also really didn't pan out because I found out that I'm very sensitive and I, and I couldn't deal with losing people. So, um, I changed degrees and I got my graphic design degree, a Bachelor of Fine Arts, and I do find that I use it because I had to take classes where I built websites, where I had to edit videos and I, you know, had to like model things in the computer and I had to take a ton of art classes. So hello art, makeup, can't, you know, have one without the other honestly. So I don't regret any of the classes that I've taken. Plus, it's always a backup plan, you know? I do really enjoy doing digital artistry, so 
if and when I ever decide not to do makeup anymore. I mean, I have, you know, other things I want to do, so. Leanne Dowling asks, what training have you done to get where you are? Again, I took a ton of art classes. Um, I did go to cinema makeup school, which I have a whole video on, and a lot of you guys have asked questions and asked me questions constantly about the school, and I'm glad to help you, you know, but if you want to watch that video, that's probably like the best resource, because it's really in-depth and, you know, it kind of answers a lot of questions. But yeah, I mean, I've taken, again, a lot of art courses. Uh, color theory is one of the best courses you could ever take as a makeup artist, and painting, because makeup is such a a visceral medium and it's you know it's painting on the face so it's a great kind of foundation to have. Sene Marks asks where do you get your inspiration from? Is it mainly from request or are you inspired by other artists in your own imagination? I get inspired a lot of times um, after I've been dreaming or when I wake up or really any time at night is a good time for me to be inspired. When I'm supposed to be asleep, that's a really good time for my brain to be like, oh no, Angie, wake up. You have to write this down. You have to draw this out. You have to make a snow princess that lives in, I don't know, <laughs> Iceland, I don't know. But um, I'm inspired a lot by things that I think about in my head, if that makes sense. Like if I'm out and about living life, doing things, I will see things and be like, oh, I need to do a makeup based on that. or. Oh, I need to paint this, I need to draw this, I need to do this and that and this and that. So, mainly my own brain, but a lot of you guys have sent me some awesome requests as well that have helped inspire a lot of my makeups too, so I would say, you know, life is what inspires me the most. Now that I have a sufficient amount of lime green upon my brows, we're going to move on to Twitter questions. This is from Malachi Lanning. And he asked, do I have any tips for an inspiring makeup artist? Uh, because he's a guy and he can't practice on himself with beauty makeup much at all. Okay. Um, duct tape your friends to chairs, honestly, and just do makeup on them. We only had one question on Twitter, so now we're going to Instagram. This is from Chase Lemus, Lemus something. What would you do if makeup had not worked out? Um, well. I would probably be painting things. I always have dreamt of a painting career, so that still might happen. So let's address the face-off questions because I had like 10 of those questions being like, what are you gonna be on the show? And you know, did you audition? Blah, blah, blah. I have not auditioned for the show. It's very flattering that you guys even think that I could be on the show. Um, maybe one day, you never know. I personally like the show a lot. I watch it every season. And I've learned a lot from it, and I, and I admire a lot of the artists that are on the show, so you never know. But at this point, I have not auditioned. Next question is from Jazzy Mini Momo. Have you ever had any other dogs before Bowie? And the answer to that is yes. I had um, dogs growing up. I had cats, I had hamsters. I had a lot of different types of animals, and I loved them all. Somebody asked me to sing a song, so I guess I shall sing a song as well. For all the joy you brought to my life, for all the wrong you may right, for every dream made true, I had you, love, I had you. That's for you, Dad. I know you like Celine Dion. That's his jam. My dad would always pick me up at high school. Blair and freaking Celine Dion. Or Barry Manilow. Um, next question. Red loves New York. I was wondering if your cheekbones are real. Yeah, real. The cheekbones, they are real. Next question. Alyssa Smith from YouTube. What made you choose to be a makeup artist? What got you into makeup, and did you ever work at a makeup counter? I'm gonna answer it backwards. No, I've never worked at a makeup counter. I wanted to, I was going to work at MAC when I lived in Tennessee, but I never got around to it. What got you into makeup? YouTube, and what made you choose to be a makeup artist? I just enjoy the freedom that I have on the face and on the body as a canvas. Um, I've always been an artist, always drawn, always painted, always 
and doodling and, and all that stuff. So to do it on a human canvas is amazing to me. And the fact that it's temporary makes me appreciate even more because it is temporary and it's something that's just washed off. So it's kind of the ultimate art form, in my opinion. Okay. Ariel Khalil asks, what is your favorite horror movie? I would say the Britney Spears movie. I think that was a horrible movie. And I'm scared to death of it. So that. And um, The Thing, obviously really cool. Really awesome special effects makeups and that. Um, the Hellraiser movies. I love Hellraiser. And there's so many great horror movies. Like, I can't pick. Jody Stevens Curtis, she always comments on my videos. So hello Jody, thank you so much for asking questions and being an awesome subscriber. She says, have you always wanted to be a makeup artist? To that I would say no. I didn't really know about makeup as an art form until probably six or seven years ago. And next, if so, why? And if not, what did you want to be before? As a kid, I wanted to be a pediatrician. Then I went to school for um, Art education, I was going to be an art teacher, then nursing, I think I've mentioned all these previously, and then finally graphic design and computer animation. This is a long question, it says, also, did you have a defining moment in your life when you knew, without a shadow of a doubt, that you wanted to be a makeup artist? Of course, definitely. Um, it happened when I was doing makeup on a model, and I just realized this feels so natural. This is what I'm supposed to do. It was actually at the next place of words, funny enough. I was doing makeup on my model, and I was just like, I really enjoy this. I really want to do this. So I just pursued it, and here we are. And her last question is, if you could do makeup on anyone, who would you choose to do it on and why? That would have to be Mr. Johnny Depp. Now we're going to visit the contour fairy. She's quite a nice lady sometimes. A lot of people use her on the internet, especially, especially on the Instagram. But you don't want to contour too much because you'll end up looking like a fruitcake. Somebody's screaming out there! Are you? Are you? Coming to the tree? Are you? Are you? A baby drag queen? There is any birds are with me Back to the shelter of each little nest they love What makes the world go round? Nothing but love. When whip the wheels call, and evening is nigh, I'll hurry to my blue heaven. SKM by Design asked, How was your move to LA? Transitioning, actually getting your stuff out there, sticker shop, traveling with Bowie, etc. Uh, she says she's thinking about moving to the east, or moving from the east coast as well, and like to my experience. It was a gradual thing. I moved in stages. The first initial stage, I just moved and sent like seven huge boxes of things. I spent a couple hundred dollars sending them to my new apartment and stuff. And then I bought um, furniture at Ikea. So most of my furniture and things I left at home. I had to leave Bowie at home as well for six months until I finished school. And then I went back and got him. And I drove across country. So again, it was stages. It takes it took me time because I had to do it on a budget. It would have been extremely expensive had I moved everything at once. But now I'm at a good place. I've been here in November. It'll be two years. So I've been able to build up my, you know, home. If you could have all the pets you ever wanted, no restrictions on space or money, what would you have? This question is from Panda Panda X, and it's the final question before I tackle these lips. I would say that I would want all the animals. I would want an animal preserve. I would like to own the earth and have all the animals to be my little minions. No, not really. I would really just like to have a sloth, probably. You know, I'm not gonna be too greedy. Sloths are great. Sloths are fun. Sloths are fancy. You'll see a smiling face, a fireplace, cozy room. A little nest, nestle where the rose is blue. There's mommy and me, and baby makes three. We're so happy in my blue. So that's gonna wrap up this alien mermaid, drag queen, futuristic poison ivy look. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I had fun doing this. It's like flexing my spontaneous, spontaneous muscle and my creative muscle at the same time. And I also really enjoyed answering the questions from you guys. I hope you liked the video. If you did, thumbs are appreciated. And join me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, especially for sneak peeks and other things, other things in the life of me. 
energy. And um, yeah, take care guys. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.